Good morning. Typical morning at Blue Ox to get ready for an inspection. We're heading to Titusville to do a almost brand new Newmire 2022 uh, Superstar model. So looking forward to this. Now we're gonna get ready, put our gear on. Um, yes, we wake up early in the morning. Not because I'm really ambitious. It's just because I wanna have as much time as possible to do nothing before I go to work. Stick around. We'll see you right on the other side of this and we will be there. We are here in Titusville, Florida, about to inspect this Newmar Superstar 4059. So stick around because you're going to see uh, this amazing unit and we're going to recap at noon and at the end of the day. So lunchtime, superstar it is, beautiful, classy for one of our customers in New Mexico that uh, made us come up here in Titusville. I'm done the roof, roof is perfect. I couldn't find nothing wrong with the roof by itself. The seller's with us, so he's a nice guy. I can see he keeps this top shape. This is phenomenal, clean, top notch. Everything is taken care of. It sleeps in those garage. Well, you see the kind of garage. Look across the street. Just to give you an idea, that's a London air, people. So you think this is big? This is even bigger. So this is the kind of, this is a community where you live here, you have to have a garage to put your rig in. It's, it's, you can't stay here if you don't have a, an RV. So um, yeah, the roof. So what happened with the roof? I go up there, my skylight is cracked all over. That's 2021, that's only a year old. It's kind of probably the lab ceiling quality they put on there has nothing to do with a customer. That is crappy and they're gonna fix it. The seller already have an appointment book tomorrow. After we're done with the report, you don't even wanna wait for the report from, from my buyer. He wants to go through his list and be done and nope, we'll have that fixed. So do you know how long it takes to get an appointment there? four months to that place where they're going tomorrow. So we gotta get going. So uh, my roof, that's what I found up here. See, we had this conversation, he and I, come here Lowell. So here, here's the slide out. It came out, it's out. For me, well, it's not out because see this, you think this should go out. Well, if we look from the inside, uh, the slide cannot really go out anymore because from the inside, it's to the wall. So I think that's uh, just a manufacturing, how it's built, how it is compared to this one. See, that's what I'm saying. See how much room you have on this one? So that would be normal. So that's one of the things that I found. Other than that, I just, th to give you an idea, you come and pick up your rig, you have this door. Okay, well, for me, that's an adjustment. You adjust that door when you're at the RV dealership. You don't let me go with this door. So another thing is, see, I'm gonna ask him a couple of questions of things that I, I can't see the, the usefulness of, but he'll direct me to this. But you see all this water I have here? So if you go all the way to the top, those have gutters on there. So most likely that gutter, that drain is
Uh, well, finish this one, the front and the other side. Then I'm gonna get dirty and go underneath to check carriage and so we'll know how that goes. So now, Laurel, do we need to go inside? Yeah, we'll go see what she found inside. If she found something, maybe this was the perfect unit. See you then. So it's lunchtime. And as you can see, I've already got the dinette kind of open. That's where I left off in my inspection report. So I'm going to come back and start there since lunch is over. But I've got to tell you, Wanda has taken care of this thing like a baby. It is pristine. Honest to God, this thing is phenomenal. I have gone through all the cabinetry. I have gone through all of my water systems on the pump, not on city water. I have no leaks in any of the bathroom faucets, the toilets, the kitchen sink. Uh, everything is working as it should. The only thing that I have found so far in doing my uh, cabinets is this one particular drawer. It pulls out way far and it's very, it just needs adjusting. It's something that's really, really simple. And then I'm going to bring you in here and we're going to just talk about the, the skylight here. The skylight, it has some glue of some sort, some sort of debris, not sure what it is. Something basic, something simple. So after, um, after lunch, I'm going to also do the washer, the dryer, the fridge, the stove. Here we have a little half bath in here. As you can see, and the other thing that I found was a little bit of sealant that is missing around the edge of the sink, which again, what's that? Three things so far and it's lunchtime. So I'll see you at the end of the day and we will recap everything. So here's the end of the day. Um, guys, please subscribe. This is important. You got to encourage us. This gets discouraging when you say, you don't say a comment, you don't say nothing. We're doing this to say exciting you and saying, hey, this is cool. By the way, I know we always say notification bell to notify, to notify the notification bell. To... That bell, you actually have to click on it so when there's a video that's coming, your phone actually rings. You know that annoying ding ding? You got to do this. So, because I know a lot of people miss a lot of video, then they tell us, oh yeah, we've seen three or four at the same time. Uh, you're not following people. So here we are, Titusville. We're with Wanda and Greg. They were nice to us all day. Uh, it's already 5, 15, 20, whatever. So this baby up there, this superstar is a 2022. I mean, it's been built in September, 2021. It's brand new. I forgot one of my tools here. So good thing we came here, but I just want to do this feature for, because I like this. Look at those lights in the back, all right? So imagine you're hooking up your, your Jeep, your Toad, I mean, 20,000 pound hitch in there. That is mm, awesome. Vacuum integrated into here. So, so as, be as beautiful as it is, it is well built. Her and I were really amazed to see all the things that we found. I showed you the sealant up there this morning and I forgot to say a dryer also. There was two places of place where sealant requires to be put on there. Um, on top, we got the skylight. In here, everything was good. Uh, the leveling system, we weren't able to make it work as intended. Probably because of the pitch that we have down here. It is way too much. Uh, we have the wheels raised about four inches from the ground. So tomorrow, Greg is already going to a service, like I said, so he's gonna have it checked on more level ground. And uh, slide was all perfect, all lined up. Everything aligned perfect. Water was, was working, generators working perfect in here. I had just a couple of little things happen, like there's a scratch on the on the hood. Probably somebody who changed the wiper one day and Greg claims that he didn't. So that's just a little detail paint. Uh, in here underneath, everything was fine. Radiator, hose, because I check everything physically, touch, steering and everything. And um, What did happen here? I don't, I'm trying to remember because I know there was something. And at the end of the day, my brain kind of fries anyway. And send, then I don't remember everything. There was life safety. She talked about the, the smoke detector in there and there was another life safety, but I don't remember quite what it is. Uh, 
So, yeah, trying to go, see, one thing that I like, they have this, this diamond shield everywhere, patched everywhere. See this little plastic line? This, it's kind of a vinyl that they put in front. It, it keeps the unit really nice. I've talked about those slides before. Uh, that's no Mars manufacturing. Wire is in here and both of them work as well and then we've done the exit doors this is cool this shower it's got this little temperature control thing this little mechanism gets the temperature before it's even coming on you and this will turn white when it's at the right temperature so guys thank you so much for watching and we just want to say it's not about the destination it's all about the journey